All right, so what Twidla is, is it is essentially a collaborative whiteboard. It's a website that allows you to collaborate on a blank space. This is pretty cool for our kids because I see lots of opportunities where they could use this collaboratively. Um, if students are working on math problems together and they want to model to one another, if they're brainstorming and having every kid will be able to add to the brainstorming or at least see what's going on, they could be collaborative mind mapping, creating graphic organizers, taking notes together. There's lots of ways that this could be a valuable tool. I also like Twidla because it doesn't require an account setup. You can set up an account, especially if you have kids who are 13 or older, but if you have younger kids, it's not necessary. All you need to do is go to twidla.com and you don't need to log in. You can just click start a new meeting. Now, if you were going to have kids use this collaboratively, what you would do is have them group up and have one student create the Twidla meeting. Now, once that student has opened up the Twidla for their group, all they need to do is share this link right here with the other people in their group. So if the students type in twidla.com slash 2087323 into their iPads, they can also access this Twidla. They can add to it. They can see what other people are adding. So it's a really cool collaborative whiteboard, essentially. Now, the features of Twidla are pretty straightforward. The most common thing that kids will probably be using is just the ability to draw so they can choose a color. Um, they can choose the size of their pencil and they can draw. So, you know, 3 plus 2 equals 5 or something along those lines. They could be collaboratively brainstorming. So maybe they create some kind of mind map and they're all sharing ideas and following along and being able to see it in real time. Some other nice features, um, there's a grid option. So if you're graphing or um, using this for math or creating some kind of um, straight, you know, if you want straight lines, things like that, you can use the graph paper feature. There's an undo button. Um, there's a clear all button. Kids can erase. So you can use the erase feature to get rid of something that didn't work. There's a shapes feature where again kids can choose different colors um, and different types of shapes that they want to be able to draw. So here's just the line or a circle. Um, and again, everybody who's in this Twidla can see this happening in real time. The select feature allows me to, um, to click on something and move it. Another feature of Twidla that you may consider using is the Etherpad. Um, the Etherpad is essentially, if I click here on the top and switch to Etherpad, it's exactly like Google, a Google Doc, in that as students, we could be typing together collaboratively, and everybody could see what was being typed, everybody could edit what was being typed. Um, I wouldn't say that this is necessarily a better option than Google Docs because again if you don't have an account um, you can't save it. Also if you switch between whiteboard and etherpad it, it erases the whiteboard so it's not like you could be flipping in between the two to add notes or something like that um, but it is an option that's there if you choose to use it. Those are the basic features of Twidla so it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's a whiteboard but again, the fact that kids can work on it collaboratively, see this working on it together, is pretty cool. So as I said earlier in the screencast, Twidla does not require an account, and we didn't create an account to do this because we're envisioning that maybe this is younger students using it. We don't want to have to deal with accounts, that kind of thing. The one downside is if you don't have an account, you can't, you can't um, save. So you would have to actually create an account if you wanted to save this. However, um, what you can do is you can take a screenshot of it, right? So if I wanted to retain these notes for later on, I could do that. I couldn't go back and continue to edit it at a later date, but at least I could have that record of what we had created or talked about together. Um, so that's just a basic introduction to Twidla. It's a pretty straightforward option. It works on the iPad, um, and it's a nice way for kids to collaborate together.